it's Nick and I'm back again today for another video and today what I'm going to be doing is a little review of one of my um, probably most used items especially now in the winter since I live in Chicago if you live here or have ever been here during the season you know it's awfully cold I mean it it really changes for the minute first it could be snowing then it could be sunny then it could be cloudy then it could be cold then it could be warm so you never really know but with this item, it is something that um, I have had a ton of use for. So the why I'm looking over is the items over here. So the item I'm talking about is my Burberry Check um, scarf. So <clears throat> I bought this item in January of 2014, I believe. Yeah, it was January 2014. So it will be coming up on its second year... Um, birthday and in both of those years I have used the living heck out of it so um mine is in a seasonal color so it's in this beautiful it's not really picking up on the camera it's coming up a lot orangier but it's this beautiful um tan color um with the black slash grayish check with like a burgundy um line also so this is what it is with the little fringe down here actually let me show you okay so right here you can see that it says Burberry there's a tag and then on the other side it also has another little tag it doesn't say Burberry but it just well it kind of does and then it's um, a 168 by 30 centimeter scarf and it's made in Scotland um, and it's 100% cashmere, so it's a 100% cashmere scarf, um, and it's a specialist dry clean only. So, that kind of brings me up to my first point, um, so far, um, now, I am super crazy about washing things, but I so far haven't washed this or tried it, I'm too nervous to bring it to a dry cleaner or anything, um, so... I need to check in with Burberry to see if they'll do a service to clean this up for me and see how much of that is or else I'll find a nice um, dry cleaner down here in the city. But so far with this, I have been obsessed with it. Um, it's pretty much my go-to scarf. Now that I got my Yves Saint Laurent one um, that you would see in one of my older or past videos. I haven't used that one yet. I'm saving that for a Christmas present to myself because I'm one of those weirdos that likes to buy themselves Christmas presents. I don't know. It's just a kind of me thing, but nonetheless, I really, really like it. So, um, so until that gets used, this one's going to be my main baby. Um, so as you can see, it's a really long scarf and it's quite wide too. Like it isn't, let me back up. So it isn't that terribly wide, but it um, it's still pretty wide. Um, so how I usually like to wear it is I will um, wrap it around my neck and then just take the one end, flip it over, bring it under. And I usually like to do the side. Okay, of course I did the wrong side. So um, here's this. And you bring it over. I like to do the side that has... Darn it, I did it again. Well, somehow, the, well, just pretty much depending on how you put it on, I usually like to put the side, getting to the point, that it has the Burberry thing right there, so it kind of hangs out, not to be like all bougie and like, hello, here's my Burberry scarf, but um, <clears throat> I like to have that laid out, so then I tough it bring it up like this and then I just lay it down like this and then I put my coat on around it and it keeps me really really warm you can um, make it really tight if you need it to so like nothing gets in or if it's a little warm you can loosen it up and bring it down and it's still pretty warm um, other ways I have done it is now because I have a really fat neck um, probably can't see it well you still can see at this angle but um, like this. I've tried this before. It's not my favorite, but I still like it a lot. It This is when it's like super cold and you're just not messing around anymore. It's really good for that. Um, <clears throat> how else do I wear it? Um, oh, I will go like this and just wrap it around like this 
and then put it in my um, coat like that. Or I have recently kind of taken it like this, put it, oh no, my hair is getting super messed up, not like it was good before. Um, take it like that, lay it out, and then like do this, or like do it like this and kind of puff it up, and then when my coat closes, these kind of stick up like this, which is a really good look. I've also kind of worn it um, with, with a coat um, like this over it, but since it's so windy here, it's really hard to do this because one end will be fine or one end will be fine and then both ends and then it just goes rolling off. Thankfully that hasn't happened to me, but um, it just becomes a hassle. Um, so I've even like put it on the outside of my coat and then tucked it in. Um, I'll also show you with a coat, which is another point. Let me just finish up this part of the review. So um, moving back a little closer now. Um, so... <clears throat> so far, this um, scarf has held up extremely, extremely well. There's no fraying at the sides. Um, there's no tears. There's no scuffs. There's really nothing. I mean, of course, since it's cashmere, it's starting to um, you be able to see that. You see that, like, on top? Oh, of course, it's going to blow you out now. Yeah, there we go. Um, it's starting to not fray, but kind of fuzzy up a little bit, which I'm sure once I get it dry cleaned, it'll be a lot better. Um, but it's still not an issue whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> just kind of goes with the heritage of the scarf. But this scarf is just so soft. It's so luxurious. It's, oh my god, I wish I had a blanket like this to just snuggle up at night. It, I love this scarf. But, a really cool thing is, is the color of this. Now, I bought this first. And this color matches with everything. <clears throat> so when I was actually buying my scarf, I was going to go with the original classic one. But I don't know. There's just something about it that I like the design. I like the check. I like the tan. I liked everything else. But there's just something about the original that I just wasn't... It, it, it wasn't special enough to me because you would see in like cheaper department stores or like Macy's or even Kohl's or something. They all have check scarves like that. Of course it's not the same quality or anything, but it just looked the same. And then the school I went to, a lot of kids would be wearing a lot of fake things. So there was a lot of fake-ish Burberry scarves that were just so ugly that it kind of stirred me away but I knew I definitely wanted to get a Burberry scarf because I think this is a classic in anyone's collection especially if you're in a colder environment so that's why when I found this I thought it was perfect I was stocking it online and I actually bought it for my 18th birthday um oh so it would have been 2015 but it was January 2015 um <laughs> sorry so, I bought this in the New York store, and I was just in love with it. But, what I was going to before is, I actually hit, after I bought this, I had this for a year or so. And then last winter, um, after I went to school, I noticed a lot of people had these really nice, not dress-up coats, but, like, really business-ish coats. And I thought it would fit my aesthetic really nicely. Given, today, I'm just wearing a basic t-shirt, and I'm really grimy because I'm studying for finals and everything. But... I was able to get, sorry, I'm reaching over again, to get this beautiful um, Michael Kors coat. I got this at Macy's. There's a little tag. Of course, you can't see it. But I got this beautiful Michael Kors coat from Macy's. And this thing is, I think it's wool, but it is just so nice. It's so warm. It's it has all these amazing pockets on it. I mean, it looks kind of ugly, but, like, standing up on here. But when I dress it up, it's really nice. And the good part is it, my scarf matches this exactly. Once again, it's not coming up right. But, as you can see, it just goes together so beautifully, so wonderful. And I am really enjoying it. So, um... I'm not going to do any mod shots with this, but what I've been liking to do, what I like to do also, 
is attach my Wyatt's Owl pin right there, and I like to put that one right over on the side. I'm just attaching it right now. Um, this is like my most like favorite duo out of all my coats, all of my other things, because I can interchange all these together. So as you can see, it would be folded like this, and then the scarf would usually go in there. So this is how. Oh, it's of course it's really bad, but um, so this is what it looks like. Um, so I don't know if the, this really isn't showing it. I'll probably do a mod shot or a picture or something. I think I might have a picture of this on my Instagram. So if you would like to see that, go check out my Instagram. It's the same name. I put it in the bio. Um, not being corny or go follow me everywhere. But yeah, so that would be a little bit a better place to kind of see how I style this a little better. But nonetheless, um, sorry. Alright, so that would be my review of this wonderful, wonderful scarf. It is definitely on the pricier side of of scarves. I mean, it is kind of, it is expensive, but it is so worth it. It'll last you a lifetime, and I think this is a wonderful investment and just a wonderful classic piece to have in anyone's designer collection. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you a little bit, and thank you for watching, and have a fabulous day. Thank you. Bye.